I trust you've read over the design brief for the soap dish project, and as with any type of a project, any kind of a product that you're going to design, the first step is to research. Research existing products, get a feel for what's out there, get your creative juices flowing by looking at what other people have created, not to copy them, but to get ideas to, to, simu to stimulate your thinking. So I'm here at the Google page, and I'm going to type in a, a soap dish, and I'm going to go to an image search, and I'm going to look for um, soap dishes that, that meet the requirements or come close to the requirements of the project. I'm also going to open up a Word document, and I'm going to copy and paste these pictures onto the Word document. So for example, if I look here, these, this soap dish, now the soap dish that we're making is about five and a half by four and a half inches, uh, has an area of five and a half by four and a half inches, and it's one inch deep, and it's made completely of plastic. In the top of the dish, there's a cavity for the soap to sit in. Okay, this would not be a good idea. This is not something I would want to um, put in my research because it's glass. It's, it's made to go into a wall. It just does not meet the requirements of, of my soap dish. This soap dish right here would be more like it. If we, I'm gonna, let's open this up and take a look at it. This is the Rockstar soap dish. You can see that even though it's not exactly like what I'm doing, in terms of the size of the cavity, this this is, I could make a shape of a guitar. It's about an inch deep. It's got a recessed area for soap. This would be very, this is a very good piece of research right here. It's similar to my design of what I'm going to do or what I want to do. It meets the specifications. It's made of plastic. It probably is hollow up, in, un, hollow up underneath of it. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it onto a Word document. And this is going to be my research. I'm going to paste it there. Now, whenever you put a picture on Word, if you double-click the picture and change the text wrapping to tight or square, then you're able to move the picture around and place it where you want to place it. So we're going to put 10 pictures onto a Word document that, that are similar to the types of soap dish that we want to make. 10 pictures. That's your research requirement. So I'll, let me find another one here. I'll go ahead and go back. Now, this soap dish, even though it looks like it might be, it might meet the requirement, it's, it's not. It's not plastic. It comes up. It's not hollow on the inside. So this is not a good, um, that's not a good research soap dish. Let's look for some other plastic ones here that might meet our requirements. Here's a piano one. Okay, even though this one's not, even though this one is not, um, exactly what I'm looking for. You see how it's it's more of a porcelain piece. It's got the legs coming down. However, I do like the idea of the shape of this and the fact that it's a keyboard. The plastic soap dish that you're making is going to have some kind of a theme to it. Guitar, a piano. Uh, the one I'm going to demo for you is going to be a golf course or, or a golf green uh, soap dish. So you need to come up with ideas on your own. I'm going to go ahead and save this one because it gives me an idea. Even though it's not exactly... Uh, like what I'm going to be making, it's it's close. So I need to change the text wrapping to tight, and I'm going to go ahead and put that picture next to this other one. And there we go. We have two pictures. So to get the idea, we're going to be going through and looking for 10 soap dishes that meet the requirements, different types, plastic, if, like right here. Here we go. Now here's a soap dish. You can see there's just a square, but it's like a rubber ducky soap dish. Why not make the soap dish into the shape of a duck? That would be kind of a good idea. All right, so I'm going to copy that and put that on my research. Do you understand? I want 10 pictures like this. 10 pictures. Try to fit them all on one page. You have to shrink them down a little bit. And the idea is that you, you're going to be able to get some ideas of your own by looking at what other people have created. Okay? 10 ideas. That's your research.